Hi guys, welcome back to Irene Tarot Cut. I'm Ren or Irene. I hope everyone's had a great week and a great weekend. I had a pretty good week this week. I worked on this Just a Trickle piece, which is another woods piece. I love doing woods pieces. I love rainforests mainly, but any forest I absolutely love. So it was a pleasure to work on. So I did that this week, which I'll share the process of in this video. We also celebrated my mum's birthday this week over some great food, some way too many drinks <laughs> once again. But um, yeah, that was that was great getting together with the family. My sister was actually over this weekend as well. So that was really good. I also had some art supply errands to run. I can never seem to have enough art supplies. I'm forever running out of paints and brushes and canvases, even though I've got like a wall of canvases already there to, to paint on. I always seem to be needing a different size or needing more brushes or paints. So did that, went to a few art supply places and picked up the things that I needed this week. As far as being out in nature this week, I went to a local mini lake, I guess you'd call it, called Seagull Paddock. It's called that because there's thousands of seagulls that nest there. And it's, it's a nice little walk that you can walk around the lake and you can sit in certain areas near the water. I did some sketching and it was quite a nice day for the beginning of winter anyway. It wasn't too cold. So it was nice just to be able to get out there and yeah, sit outside and spend some time in nature. So the painting this week was actually inspired by this nature photo that I came across a while ago. But as with any inspiration I take from a photo, I try to make the painting my own instead of painting it exactly like the photo because that would be copyright really. You're just copying another person's photograph unless you take it yourself or you have permission. But I like to make it my own and work in my own style of Renism anyway. So worked on this basically all week, um, adding the back foliage to begin with as it's um, kind of like a backlit piece. So yeah, the first layer was just working on that very far background foliage, the lights, some tree trunks, and just a very basic rough underpainting of where all the rocks will go. As I said it was my mum's birthday this week so we got together with the family and celebrated that over some food and drinks and that was really great to get together. Jazz actually had a baby shower she had to attend so she couldn't make it but um, yeah we really enjoyed ourselves, had many great laughs. Mum's birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lunch time for the guests, you know, working. Oh, I pulled myself a bit extra. I'll pull you a bit more. Jason, you know what I'm just kidding? No, no grabber this time. Uh, Last time he's like, I can really feel that grabber. I said, of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, the only times I have work is in that. Please, pop the tractor. I can't feel my hands, you know? And I'm saying, you see, I can feel mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Pogaccia. You, you have a Pogaccia. Beautiful. Beautiful. White wine of all things. Oh no, it just... I had a few unwell 
nights from that one. Really? So it turned me off. Yes. Happy Monday, Mom. Happy Mom. birthday. Thank you. <laughs> oh, of course, we can't get each other. Cheers. Happy and Jay. Cheers. 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 <laughs> and Jay. And Tony. <laughs> Happy birthday. But you know, everyone just sitting with me. Is that nice? Is that Chili? Yeah. No. I might. Ooh, I want chili in mine. The end. And they picked the, like the one that we go, oh, that's oh, fantastic. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Forgotten. Yeah. It's the other one we always whip. They go, this is unbelievable. Yes, I remember very well. I remember our little English sessions. <laughs> and I used to stand next to her while she was on the phone with Teresa. And I used to say, oh, you said this word. She goes, no, I didn't. I said, yes, you did. Say this word. I said, no, I did not. And she was only 15. She was annoyed that, you know. So, I had uh, to interpret all my conversations to Susie. <laughs> That's yeah, right, so while well, I was teaching to her English. In your way, yeah, like, yeah, this is what I was going to say. Uh, adapt better. I will adapt. Then yeah, Susie. very nice. <laughs> I think so too. Perfect, Diana. I think yes, so too. Photo. Kato, tudom használni Facebook, Instagram, Messenger. Úgyhogy arra mentem az én Facebookomra, arról a telefonról, és akkor vissza tudtam menni a képet. Hmm? Beautiful cake. Your grandma? My mom. Oh, your mom. Following that on the painting, I added some mid-ground foliage and tree trunks and added a little bit of definition to some of the rocks and where the rocks will go. So I had to go and get some more paint because I was running really low on white and I needed to get a couple greens and a couple yellows. I also wanted to look at some angle brushes even though like I've got hundreds of brushes but what I seem to use the most of is angle brushes for some reason. I really like using the angled ones. So I wanted to look at a couple art supply stores, see what kind of angle brushes they were stocking at the time have a look at some canvases. So yeah, I had to drop Jazz off at work in the morning and then headed straight into town and got some art supplies. I hope you have a good day and you feel a bit better. Well, we'll see if I vomit today. Well, if you vomit, come home. Surely they send me home if I vomit. Yeah. Surely, right? Well, I hope you have a good day. Okay. Bye bye. See you after. Now off to the city.
got a little bit of a feast happening here. We've got miso soup. I've got some leftover Thai basil from last night, which I'm going to have in bites of seaweed. I've also got a little California roll there, which Sushi Faye is still going strong, so that'll be nice to bite on. But the cats are absolutely crazy hungry. Hungry? Want your roast chicken? Yeah, you want your roast chicken, don't you? There you go. Have your roast chicken. Kimber? There you go. No. You good, cinnamon? Good? Mm. So yeah, on a very, very full belly. Most of that I didn't finish, by the way. That was a really big meal to have for a lunch. But if I've got leftovers, then I try and make it into a lunch unless I'm giving it to Cliffy, our gardener, as I've mentioned before. So yeah, on a very full belly, it was time to do some painting through the afternoon and adding in the more mid to foreground trees, adding in the tree roots and working some more on the rocks and adding some foreground foliage in as well. Of the week sometimes I have catch-ups with friends sometimes I go out for lunches and catch up with people I had a catch-up but a morning catch-up with a really great girlfriend that I hadn't seen in about a month and a half so we got together and it was actually nice weather so after having a couple coffees with her she had to go off to a hairdressing appointment and I thought well I want to sort of get out in nature while the weather allows this week so I just went to the nearby seagull paddock, which is a tiny little lake that you can walk all the way around. There's a couple bridges you can cross over and there's some seeding near the water here and there with some dry grasses, which is really inspiring to me. I love lake grasses. So I took my little sketch pad with me and had a good walk around. And then I sat by the water and did some sketching down there.
Then after that, it was finally time to add the water into this piece, which was pretty straightforward, really. All the, um, the underpainting work was done, so all the darks were already in, and it was really only the mid-tones mid and the highlights that I had to add in to actually make it look like water. So this week some of the things we've been eating are things like lettuce cups which I've showed one recipe of in a previous vlog, um, some steaks, some Thai basil which you saw the leftovers of which were the leftover lunch that I had. Um, so yeah we had a few random things but one of the things that I thought I'd include this week in the vlog is Mexican phyllo rolls which were absolutely delicious so highly recommend you give this a go I did use a cheat normally when I make tacos or burritos or things like that it's really easy to make up your own spice mix to add into it however I absolutely love fajita spice mix that you can buy how smoky it is to get that level of smokiness is really hard with your own spice mix blend so I really really like using that seasoning every now and then in certain recipes but instead of just making plain fajitas I made these Mexican phyllo rolls with it and added a bunch of ingredients as per usual but it's quite simple really it's a half an hour to throw together and then once you've actually thrown together the phyllo rolls you just bake them for like 15 minutes until they're nice and crispy really nice it went down an absolute treat with all of us so for the Mexican phyllo rolls, first we're going to dice some onion and saute that and chop some garlic, some capsicum and then we'll get the beef in with the onion, then in with the garlic and the capsicum, cook it down a bit, then we're going to add some fajita seasoning mix. As much as it's a cheat, it's really smoky and delicious in this, so I love the actual fajita seasoning mix for this. And then diced tomatoes and a small tin of baked beans, which goes amazing in the phyllo rolls. Once you've sauteed your onion a little bit in with the meat, I'm using 500 grams here. And then you and then you want to break that up and cook it down for a few minutes. Once you've browned the meat, you want to go in with your garlic and cook that down for a couple of minutes. Oh, all foggy. Then we go in with some diced tomatoes. And finally the beans. We combine that really well and we cook it for about five minutes. Add salt and pepper because you're adding plain tomato and plain capsicum, so it does need flavouring. So some salt and pepper, some smoked paprika if you like it extra smoky like me. And some chilli if you wish, but I'm not adding any because Jazzy's having some, so we'll just serve some on the side. And that's it, cook it down. Next you want to line your tray with some foil and greaseproof paper to save on the washing up and lay out your phyllo pastry. And then we're going to put three sheets of phyllo pastry down and you've got to work kind of quick here with the hot stuffing so that the phyllo pastry doesn't fall apart. So roll, 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 
slides in, roll, roll, and that's one done. So out of a half a kilo of mince, you'll get four big rolls, and into a hot oven they go. I've just made a simple avocado salad to go with it, and I've got some chilli for garnish, some sour cream, and some cheese. Don't worry if they explode out the side a little bit, it's still absolutely delicious. And serve it up with your salad and everything. Serve all your garnishes on top and enjoy. Then lastly, I just added some highlights to the trees, a little bit to the rocks this morning and that was it really, painting done. So next week I won't be uploading a vlog. Um, I'm actually going to upload something a little bit different, but the following week I will complete another oil painting and I'll vlog about it again as per usual. Just something a bit different next week. I'm wanting to work on quite a large scale that blackout canvas that I've got, but I really should do another small or medium, medium scale first. But we'll see what happens. As per usual, I'll just see where my mood takes me. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me for this video and I hope that you'll join me next week for something a little bit different and future videos of vlogs and oil paintings that I upload. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in next week's video. Thanks guys. Bye.